Hello, Tenno, and welcome back to another episode of Warframe Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Marie Magno, aka Father McFeely. And today we're going to talk a little bit about farming sentience in order to build the War or Broken War. Now, the War and Broken War blueprints are only obtainable as rare drops from the Stalker, so getting that can be a little bit difficult. But getting the components can be just as difficult. Uh, what you really need to do is there's only one mission that I can find that actually spawns these creatures, the Oculist Sentience. They will spawn, scan you, and then call in a number of Battleists or Conculists, whichever, it's random, and you get the components from the Conculists. Now the fastest way to do that is to go to Plato on Lua. I recommend bringing Necros with Desecrate or Despoil, doesn't matter which. Um, we just make this really quick. There are approximately four different tile sets for Plato. If you spawn on the one that has the cross connector room, where you spawn in one corner and there are three doorways, one ahead of you and two at each one at each side, uh, go ahead and back out because they will not spawn correctly in there. There appears to be a glitch with that. So first off, we're going to go ahead and. Now you can do this alone or you can do this as a group. I do recommend trying to form yourself a group of players to join you as the sentients do spawn one plus the number of players. So if you have a full group of four, you have five, which means five chances to get those components. Okay, so this one right here is a guaranteed spawn. Now what you wanna do is just wait at the entrance. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this great. I'm running to spoil so it has no uh, energy cost for me. And you're going to wait for your screen to flicker blue and wait for the um, announcement to pass saying that sentients have spawned and try not to let them scan you. What that'll do is it'll actually force them to spawn at the nearest enemies which would be that marker ahead of me. Now this works about 90% of the time on three of the four. Tile sets. All right, wait just a second. Once that disappears, we'll proceed. Now these sentients will only spawn for a brief period. They'll pop in, they'll scan a few items, and then disappear. So you have to be quick about it. Which is why I recommend doing it this way because they glitch and spawn. Them. Shoot them, run back. Once you damage them or get in line of sight of them, they will actually scan you and then leave. Now what I recommend is get up above them. So, maybe jump up to there or something. Helps if you actually land on the platform. As you can see, I have a Conculus and a Battleist. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna loot. That's nothing. Okay, so sometimes they will die and leave that. They explode for damage, so do avoid that. You want to shoot their shoulders. Ah, my aim is terrible. Alright, he's gonna loot. Alright, he dropped a mod. Okay, now another thing. Because this is an extermination mission and you see it requires you to get a significant amount of kills to complete. Um, sticking around for a mission, you can actually keep all items that you pick up. The only thing you lose is bonus rewards and experience. Well, bonus experience. So it doesn't matter too much whether you stick around or leave. You get what you dropped, and that's it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and press repeat mission, and we'll do this about two or three more times. But if you get a group together, I do recommend maybe a Trinity to keep people's healths up, because if you're in a full group and five do spawn, they will actually be quite a challenge. Now this one guarantees a spawn every single time. They'll either spawn at the bridge inside that pathway or in the room following it. This is rather easy. What we're going to do is run up there, shoot them, turn around. We'll wait at the ledge right over here for them to spawn, and then we're going to jump up here. It'll make killing them so much easier because their area of effect attacks will not reach you. 
they will occasionally fire like plasma blasts or something. Okay. There's the alert. Wait just a second. There's a distinct howl from them. Okay, I shot him, so he's gonna disappear. There we go. Alright, the screen will flicker blue again in a second. And then as soon as they spawn, we're jumping up there. There we go. Okay, it's a battleist. Downside of their build is that they're very slender. done. That took a little longer than I would have liked, but that's another part about this, is that they're a pain in the behind to kill because they speed off like crazy. Um, you can bring a Slova. Uh, I do believe that will affect them, but I'm not certain, as I don't use Nova myself. I mean, I have Nova Prime, I just haven't built onto her yet. If you spawn in the one where you are inside the building and it is a cross connector room, just go ahead and back out because they will not spawn properly. However, when you're doing these runs, you can actually run through and see if you can find the Octavia music room. The pattern is the same every single time. If you actually do that um, successfully, it'll spawn the crate to get the Octavia chassis. In addition to that, there is also, off to the side, where you hit the last note, a rare Oroken cache that will drop. Or rare Oroken container, I should say. And inside those containers is a chance to get a fully composed Forma. So it's entirely up to you if you want to try running for that as well. Okay, there's our alert. Switch over to my irradiator. The irradiator is my kit gun build. If that white orb drops, they will sacrifice, which means you cannot loot their corpses. Bit of a bummer there. Ah, oh, okay, that was one of its weapons. Okay, we'll do one more run, and hopefully we actually get something decent. Now, sadly, the war components, as well as Vengeful Revenant, only have about a 2.5% chance to drop, which is why I bring Necros as well, as it doubles the loots. 
potentially. I don't know if Hydroid's um, pilfering swarm will affect them either, but that is a theory to test out. Combine pilfering swarm with desecrate and slova to make sure they don't move too fast. Although some sentients are immune to uh, abilities for the most part. Wow, this tile set just spawns a lot today. Alright, I'm going to make this my last run. So, here's hoping we get something decent. I do apologize in advance. If you hear some crying in the background, I have a newborn and I'm trying to sit with him while my wife is napping. So, well, that's part of why I'm wrapping this up so quickly. All right, well, that's our, uh, that's our alert. for nothing. Alright, well that's pretty much the long and the short of it. This is the only effective way that I can find actually farming for them, seeing as this is the only point that you can get these guys to spawn and the chances of getting the item that you're looking for is rather low. Uh, I do hope this guide was informative for you. Uh, you know, I'm looking for other content to add in the near future, but uh, as I've just had my third child, it's getting to be a little bit difficult to find the time to record quality content. So do bear with me as I put these out in bits and pieces here and there. As always, thanks for watching Tenno, and we hope to see you next time.